am in um, panic mode because you guys, <laughs> after three cross country road trips and from not being on my game as much with my workouts and whatnot, I swear to you, my butt is like a pancake. It's not even, I lost so much muscle, not only in my shoulder, not look at my shoulders right now, I lost muscle throughout my whole body. And my butt is like not like perky and firm like it used to be and it's like just kind of saggy and dimply and and I'm working I'm basically I'm operation to get my ass back that's what's going down right now okay so that workout that you just saw everything I just did there is what is going to help you to build your booty I really focused on the outer booty today because I first like my butt goes in like there's dimples in the sides of it like there's dimples in the side of it right here. So I'm trying to make my booty more round. Does that make sense? So I'm trying to make my booty more more round instead of like this. So that's why I'm focusing a lot on this, the abduction and the wide stance, um, you know, sumo dumbbell deadlifts that I did and, the, and even the, um, the hex bar the hex bar squats that I, or the hex bar deadlifts that I did, um, that all will really focus on my outer glutes. The same with the abductors, the side abduction that I did, all of it. So that's a really good workout for that. And just building the, the workout that I did is, is, is good for just building the glutes in general. Um, so that's one of the things I'm really working on, hamstrings and glutes. Three days a week, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be training my hamstrings and my glutes. So just to do a little recap and kind of an update for you guys what, what's been going on with me. I know I've been a little backed up with YouTube and I'm sorry you guys, I'm trying my best to get these videos out, but I am about like a week behind. On the 16th, I put up a video of my leaky gut, my leaky gut video, and that kind of had a physique update in it. And here I'll flash back real quick to some pictures I put up on Instagram on Monday of my body. It's my week, my starting out, my week one, and my week two progress. Now I'm working on my week three progress. Monday will be my three, week three progress picture and I'll post that on Instagram. Every Everything's going good. Um, first, let's recap a little bit. First, when I first got back from the road trip and I started um, getting everything back on track, I, I detoxed. I did lots of smoothies, whole nutrient-dense foods, and I started doing a ton of research on the leaky gut, and, and then I kind of transitioned through researching into keto. And so um, I, I researched a shit ton on keto, and I started doing keto, and so did my husband. Uh, I tried it for about five days, <laughs> and I didn't like it. I didn't like it, and I'm perfectly aware that I did not give it enough time, because I probably should have given it two, three, four weeks to be able to get my body to adjust and to be able to get into ketosis, but I was feeling like such shit. I was already feeling like shit when I got back from the road trip, no energy, fatigued. I've been feeling like that for six months, but um, I got back, I was feeling that way, and, and then I felt even worse on keto, and I was like, I don't want to stick this out. I don't want to stick it out because I want to have my energy back. And I freaking miss carbs, you guys. I miss carbs. Um, so I decided to just start adding back in healthy carbs, like quinoa and sweet potatoes is really all, and veggies is all I'm really consuming right now. Um, and I'm fine with that. But um, yeah, I probably should have given the keto thing more of a chance, but uh, I was impatient, you guys. Bottom line, that's my only excuse is I was impatient. I may try it down the road someday, but, um, but for now I'm just gonna stick with carbs. But my, for those of you that are wondering if keto is for you, my husband is trying it and he loves it. But you have to understand that my husband and I are two different body types, obviously, we're man and woman, but he grew up extremely overweight his whole life. And, um, and for someone like him that has grown up his whole life being overweight, he is bound to have, and I know he has, because his body does not do well with carbs. And if you notice that you've been overweight your whole life and, and your body doesn't do well with carbs either, then maybe give keto a chance because he's kicking ass on it. Um, he literally, I think he adapted within five days. I mean, four days maybe. He feels, he's like tap dancing around the house. He's singing, he's so happy, he has so much energy. He has more energy than I do now. And now I'm like, fuck, I should have stuck with it. <sighs> oh well. But, um, but anyway, so he, someone like him that's carb sensitive, and insulin resistant, it's probably gonna do really well with keto because your body doesn't like carbs anyway. And it's probably gonna run more efficiently on higher fats than, than carbs and lower fats, you know? So give it a try. I, I, I'm seeing it work wonders for him. And um, and and I think there could be a lot of benefits for, for him. Uh, 
So anyway, moving on with that, I transitioned back into eating carbs. I'm still eating clean. I'm still eating healthy. Um, I haven't weighed myself. I haven't stepped. On, I haven't weighed myself. I haven't stepped on the scale. I haven't taken measurements. All I'm doing is eating right, getting my workouts in, and forming new habits. Now, flashback to about a week ago, I got sick. In the middle of me trying keto, having no energy, I got sick. So I was out of the gym for about three, four days, and I had like no energy. So the first week when I came back, I I got five days in of cardio and weight training. I was doing really good, and then the second week I slowed down a little bit. And now this week, I'm back on it. So um, I'm already looking pretty good. I, I'm already making some definite progress even within two weeks. I'm really, really excited to see where, where I can get my body in the next three, four, five, six, seven, eight weeks, you know? I just wanna blow you guys away. As far as macros go, I am following macros. Um, I follow like loosely. I, I don't stress myself out over these numbers. If I'm like, if I'm like five or 10 over my fats and I'm a little bit under my carb or a little bit over my carb, I don't stress out about it. I, because I know that I'm putting whole nutrient dense foods into my macros and that's what's most important and I'm not going to reverse any progress as long as I'm putting good foods into me if I eat a little bit over. Now if I were going off and binging and if I were eating sugar then I would absolutely reverse my progress. Sugar makes you fat, not fat you guys. Sugar is the devil. But anyway, um, so yeah, my macros right now and please do not copy my macros because my macros are not going to be the same for you but I'm just doing simple macros right now. I'm not doing a carb cycle, I'm not doing anything fancy. Like 130 protein, around one gram per pound of body weight. Um, and then I'm doing around 60-ish fats. I like eating fats, so I don't like having my fats like around 40, I don't like that. I wanna be happy. And this journey is about being happy and finding a number that works for you. And if you're on a macro plan that you just cannot stick to those numbers, then ask your trainer, say, hey, you know what? This is not realistic for me. I cannot meet this low of carbs. I cannot meet these fats. And if you have a good trainer, then they should want to work with you on that and adjust things to make it realistic for you to succeed. That's what I would do for my girls if they ask me that. Um, so find, you know, yes, obviously you need to have certain macros for your body and, and your numbers and everything, but if something's absolutely not working, then it needs to be changed because there's no point in having you try and meet this number every day if you're never gonna meet it. Find something more realistic. So anyway, I found something realistic for me, and so that's around, um, like I said, 130 protein, around 130-ish carb. Um, I'm going lower carb for me. For me, I usually diet on like 170 grams of carbs, but I, I want to kind of speed this up. So I'm doing 130 grams of carbs and then around 60 fats. And then when I see that I'm losing more body fat, losing more body fat, then I'll start to slowly raise those carbs up a little more. We went for a little bike ride, came back home, and now I'm cooking myself my post-workout meal, and I'm just gonna make it really healthy, and I genuinely love eating this way, you guys. I really do. Um, so right now, I am steaming some broccoli that I'm gonna put into my omelet. I'm basically gonna have a veggie quinoa omelet, so I'm gonna put quinoa inside the omelet. I put one egg, four egg whites. I'm gonna put bell pepper, some spinach, diced onion and some avocado in there as well as the broccoli so that's what i'm gonna have for my post workout it's gonna be delicious i'm excited for it and i am uh, a bit low calorie right now lower calorie than i usually am around like 1550 to 1600 calories and normally i like to diet on around like 1750 ish um for my body personally and that's when i have more energy um when i i just don't do well with low calorie and i'm sure a lot of people don't because tired when you're low calorie so I just am feeling drained all the time and um, so I'm really excited to get this you know first layer off so I can add the calories back in so I can have more energy every day so anyway I'll show you my food when it's done and then uh, we will be heading to Costco soon okay I totally failed totally failed omelet but it's gonna be delicious on the bottom is uh, quinoa in there is the spinach the bell pepper the onion the broccoli and on top is avocado and it's going to be delicious mmm so good you guys so freaking good once you start training yourself to like eating this way all you have to do is train yourself it, I didn't like used to like any of these things that I'm eating today but I forced myself to eat them and now I like it. Now I like this stuff and it's a way of life. And as soon as you start forming this kind of relationship with food and just utilizing it as fuel and learning to just love health and the way it tastes and you let go of the feeling of um, feeling deprived and that's just a state of mind. Being feeling deprived is just a state of mind. Once you can 
get over that, um, your whole life will change and your, your weight loss and your fitness and everything will just fall into place and you won't even, it'll be effortless. And that is my hope for all of you is that you can form this relationship with foods and you know, I still fall back into bad habits and I still fall back into sugar and all that stuff, but I quickly check myself and I get out of it because I know what my body needs and I know what makes me feel good. So, anyways. Hi guys, we are home. We are home. I am so tired. What are you doing? Okay, back from Costco. It is like eight o'clock at night. We haven't even eaten dinner yet and I'm hungry and I'm tired and ready to go to bed. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Finally decided to go get a Costco membership again and I like loathe Costco, but I actually kind of missed it. Be honest it was weird we are saving money by we're gonna be going to Costco every two weeks because that's when we rent a car and go over to Miami and do that um, I go and get my lashes done every other week our house cleaner comes and I go get groceries all in the same day so I kill a bunch of two like three birds with one stone so every two weeks we're gonna be spending probably a lot of money but it's gonna all the stuff is gonna last us two weeks and the only thing we might need to go to Whole Foods for is maybe some more spinach and avocado and egg, but the majority of the stuff is gonna last us for the next two weeks until we have to go to Costco again. And one of the ways that we cut down a lot on costs was we got frozen veggies. And I was skeptical at first to get frozen veggies, but um, I did read about it before I went. From what I've read, they, they have the same nutrients, if not more, in them because they are frozen when they're fresh, if that makes sense. So I bought organic frozen veggies and we'll see how it goes. If you are trying to save on groceries, I recommend going to Costco, getting things in bulk. I can't even, I forgot how cheap Costco was. I was looking at all the stuff that we got and, and normally when we go to Whole Foods, it's like double the price and you get less. So I think we should have been doing this a long time ago. Um, I was just so sick of Costco. I was like, I need a break. <laughs> So anyway, go to Costco, cut down on costs, and, and buy, if you have to buy frozen veggies, do it. At least you're getting your veggies in. Here, I'll just show you. So we got a bunch of sweet potatoes, mushrooms, black pepper, avocado. We got these uh, like stir fry vegetables when I make shrimp and stuff. Um, got some green beans, broccoli, eggs, some powdered PB to put in my smoothies some bison and steak and I am gonna eat these sometimes but that's 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 where I'm gonna draw the line I'm not gonna eat any more meat I'm not gonna eat chicken I'm not gonna eat um, anything else sometimes I like to have a bison burger a lettuce wrap bison burger and sometimes I like to have some steak so I just keep it I just keep it to a minimum that's all uh, also I got some almond butter chopped onions Himalayan pink salt some artichoke hearts to put in salads and just eat. And then Curtis wanted these little guacamole things for his keto, and I might partake in that as well. I got a bunch of celery and this big ass bag of carrots for juicing and for cooking and everything. That shit lasts us forever. Um, I got some organic berries, some frozen berries, because again, these frozen berries will, they last much, much longer than the regular berries, and, uh, and the regular berries are expensive, so. Um, and then, as a snack, I got these roasted seaweed snacks, and they're actually pretty good. I don't mind them at all. Look, I already opened them. They're really good. 
I think. I mean, it's, it's seaweed, but it's good. And if you're like a snacker, this is good because it's barely anything. For half the thing, it's 1.5 fats, one carb, one protein. That's it. So like three fats for the whole thing. Oh, we got coconut oil, mini uses. Ooh. I got these plums because I try to eat only fruit once a day. So normally I get apples for the week, but I thought I'd switch it up and try these plums. Spinach. I got paper plates, egg whites. The egg whites there are so cheap, you guys. These were only like five bucks, maybe six bucks for all of these. And normally it's like six bucks each. Um, and then I got this light right here from Costco to put up there so then when I'm cooking you will be able to see there will be better light when I do my videos and stuff oh and then I got paper towels toilet paper I miss getting this from Costco because we always run out belt wipe if you're not using this nasty I got some socks because I needed socks for forever and I got these candles to put around the house for fall and I like getting uh, candles from Costco because they are cheap. So that's it, you guys. Oh my God, I'm so tired. That is it. I hope you guys enjoyed my workout today. I hope you enjoyed that grocery haul. And please give this video a like if it helped you out. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on more content. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.